All right, guys, here's one you guys have been asking me about for a few weeks. Uh, you guys that follow me outside of YouTube uh, have seen the information on this truck. Uh, really neat piece. We'll talk about some of the stuff that I did um, to make this one a little different than my than my normal hot rod. This one's a little more hot rodded than the others. Uh, 2017 Peterbilt 389 diamond red metallic effect. All the options, all the cool stuff. We'll get to those painted fuel tanks here in just a second. Uh, under the hood, a 600 horsepower Cummins ISX-15. Uh, total bad boy. 280 inch wheelbase. 18 speed transmission. Low Pro 24 Bridgestone sitting on Alcoa level one polished Peterbilt wheels. Spring loaded stainless flap holders. Low air leaf suspension. Holland air slide fifth wheel. The stand right here. I have them in different heights, so. Uh, if you've got an application that needs a specific fifth wheel height, you can make that happen real easy, no problem. 3 axle disc brakes, the best of the best. Hodge built 30 inch deep drop polished stainless quarter fenders. You notice I left the, uh, the boxes off this time I left the deck plates off and the grab handles uh, super clean back here I'll show you in a video here in the next couple days I do a complete stainless frame cover um, that I'd be more than happy to install on this truck uh, we can move all the all the electrical and air into the nice little box or I can move it to the end of the frame or I can do both no big deal Six load lights, antenna mounted at the rear of the sleeper. Uh, keep keep the whips off the off the mirrors, just a little nicer, cleaner look. Um, if you have to have them on the mirror, I can put them on there. So it's not a very big project at all. Removed the fuel tanks, painted them the same the same metallic diamond red. Uh, change the straps to these nice six inch wide polished stainless straps I think that they look great um, I usually do four but I think I think the two on on these sides tanks just uh, uh, complements really well looks cool locking fuel caps like I say that's a regular cap versus a, a locking cap is a $17 difference total, so uh, kind of silly not to get it. Stainless sleeper vents. Little peek inside. Of course, we'll get in there here in a second. Rosewood on that control panel. Good shot of the subwoofer box with the built-in amplifier. Uh, excellent sounding stereo system in this truck. You can see the stainless Phoenix LED light kit. Polished boxes. Polished elbows. Big battery disconnect. This truck has the seven inch exhaust all the way up with the curb tip standpipes. Front and rear air cleaner lights. Of course, they're all LED. They're all on a factory installed wiring harness. Um, when my guys install these light kits, they plug in. Uh, I always talk about how there's no butt connectors. There's no twisted wires. Uh, everything has a sealed connector. done right 
and then there's there's the right way and then there's everything else polished 20 inch blind mount boxed end texas style bumper just a great looking great looking piece polished surround polished headlights 14 inch blind mount deep drop seven roof lights uh nice nice package up there this truck's gonna gonna really demand some attention what's neat about that this color and it's been a little while since i've had a diamond red is that diamond red is basically the exact same color as the red in the peterbilt just depends on which way the sun the sun's hitting the paint and the uh emblem just a great color uh and I, i'm not really a red guy it's uh but but this is probably uh my favorite red because of its uh similarity to the the red in the peterbilt oval polished boxes a um, little disappointed in the past couple trucks that came from the factory but but Whoever was polishing this day did a good job. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, my painters did a bang up job on these tanks. Not so much this side because you can't see it, but uh, when, when the sun hits the tanks, it's got the same flake and reflection, just like, just like the other side. Without the toolboxes on there, that frame really looks out there. It looks longer than a 280. Hood will open a little bit easier with both straps in there. Hey, looky there. Remote lube, remote battery post, you ever have to jump it. Heated fuel filter water separator. All the fuel lines are Arctic wrapped. Cab and sleeper both have the, uh, the extra insulation package, which uh, you will be very thankful for in the summer. It does a great job in the winter, but keeping it cool in the summer is really the hot ticket for it. Uh, there's a shot of the disc brakes. Pre-wired fog lights. Again, another sealed weather tight connector there. You just plug your stuff in. Deploy. Switch is already on the dash. It's ready to go. Stainless, heated power mirrors uh, and spots. They're heated also. Platinum interior, uh, the Arctic gray. Full rosewood, everything. Gray carpet, black seats. Sears, 80 series Atlas seats. Uh, I, I believe the most comfortable seat you can get from Peterbilt. Um, they lean back further, the, the base is wider, they're just extremely comfortable. It, it feels like a, like a very high-end seat, which it is. Here's something a little different I did on this truck. Left the navigation out, um, filled, filled the dash full of gauges. Uh, for that nice old school look. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. it uh, um, if I was doing a truck for myself, I may lean this way. Um, it is not cheaper. If you're thinking about ordering a truck, doing that, uh, taking that out, you'd think you'd save a lot of money. 
uh, but unfortunately it doesn't work that way. Still gonna have the Bluetooth, hands-free phone, XM satellite radio, all that stuff. Factory installed CB. I've got a uh, nice set of horns mounted under the cab. Uh, they, they have more of a train tone to them. It's a nice setup. It's not some cheap little chrome shop horn. It's it, it's a nice deal. Workstation in this uh, passenger side closet. That'll hold. You can put whatever you want in there, but it's really set up for hanging folders. Uh, here's your desktop. Put your laptop on there. Storage in the top on both sides. Of course, you got the cubbies up here. There's your control panel. Uh, I can put a refrigerator in this truck uh, uh, or any of my flat tops. You can't get one from the factory, but uh, I have a really nice setup for a refrigerator in a uh, Peterbilt flat top. Just uh, contact me if that's something you want to know about. Nice shot of that hood. Good look at the visor. Leather steering wheel. This truck's just awesome. My name's Steve Carboni. My phone number is in the description under this video. Uh, should be also at the bottom of this video. You can contact me here. Uh, follow, follow this page, Peter Real Steve. Also, Peter Real Steve on Facebook. I take trades. I have financing. Uh, I'm close to an airport. If you want to fly in and ride home, I've got delivery. Been doing this a uh, little over 15 years. Not much I haven't seen. I can help you with just about anything. Uh, if you just need some advice, feel free to call me or text me. It, uh, uh, I, I feel pretty honored that a lot of a lot of young guys are calling me and just asking me normal startup questions and stuff. I, I, I'm glad to help you guys. It's there, there's a lot of stuff out there to make you that'll that looks very tempting that is not a good decision. So uh, uh, a lot of that lease to own stuff, stuff like that, but. If you've got financing, if you got a trade, anything like that, man, I'd love to help you. 918-808-5638. Text me anytime. Uh, call me anytime. Be glad to help you out. We'll uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.